Hello everyone. Let us now discuss how can we solve this problem. Count number of trapezoids one. So we are given with a 2D integer array points where points i is equal to xi by i representing the coordinates of ith point on the Cartesian plane. So a horizontal trapezoid is a convex quadrilateral with at least one pair of horizontal sides parallel to the x axis. Two lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. So it is nothing but uh, these two lines are, are parallel. So this will make a quadrilateral, right? And it is known as a trapezoid. So this is what a trapezoid means. Now you might ask me what if it is uh, something like, like this, right? So these two are parallels. Now these two are parallel vertically but this is a quadrilateral but it is not a trapezoid they said the trapezoid is a convex quadrilateral with at least one pair of horizontal sides horizontal means uh, those which are parallel to x axis so this isn't a trapezoid now Return the number of unique horizontal trapezoids that can be formed by choosing any four distinct points from points. Since the answer may be large, return it modulo 1 in 9 plus 7. Let us see what are the constraints. Points length will be at least 4 and at max 10 power 5. And x i y i values can be from minus 10 power i to uh, plus 10 power i. All points are pairwise distinct. Now let us look at an example 1 comma 0, 2 comma 0, 3 comma 0, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 2. I have just uh, mentioned those points or, or I have given those points in this Cartesian plane. Now 1 comma 0 is here. Now let us see how many trapezoids that I can make with different colors. I am using this color blue for one trapezoid. Right? One trapezoid. Now I am using another color green for another trapezoid here with uh, 2 comma 2 with this point and 2 comma 0 with this point and 3 comma 0 with this point and 3 comma 2 another point now i'll be having orange color for another trapezoid so i'll be having this point again i'm just marking it right so 2 comma 2 is one point 1 comma 0 is another one 3 comma 0 is another point 3 comma 2 is another point and i'm just i'm just making a line so there are totally three trapezoids that i can make so totally right uh, i think there are no other trapezoids that i can make now i have another points example 0 comma 0 1 comma 0 0 comma 1 2 comma 1 now let me just take a trapezoid like this now these two are horizontal lines which are parallel so there will be only one output but let me take another uh, another example where i'll be having i'll be having this one right now after that i'll be having some points now i'm just making some points here one two three four five six one two three four five six now one comma four let me mark these points one comma four and two comma four three comma four and four comma four one comma three two comma three one comma three and then two comma three one comma two two comma two three comma two and then one comma one two comma one three comma one four comma one five yes these are all the points but before solving this by manually let us check how many points how many trapezoids that i can make if i have four points here and i have three points here with this as my upper side i am just uh, i'm just selecting upper side from this point so and i'll be having two points here so one two three uh, right one two three let us let us just ignore this for now let us just ignore these points of x coordinate now I have this uh, at 3 at 3 y is 3 now I need to select only two points from every row I am just considering it as a 
row right so only two parts i can select these two i can select these two i can select these two and also i can select these two and these two and then these two so how many points did i just make uh, how many pairs did i just make one two three four five six but which is nothing but 4c2 let us see whether am i correct or i am just missing something 4 factorial by 2 into 2 factorial into 2 factorial 4 into 3 uh, into 2 and 2 into 2 will be cancelled out with 4 so 3 into 2 6 which is nothing but 4c2 i can just make it as n into n minus 1 by 2 4 into 3 by 2 which will give me 6 so n c2 is nothing but n into n minus 1 by 2 which we which you already knew right so i just got all those uh, six pairs now these six pairs i can make with how many pairs i can make with uh, the point two at this row two so let us see i can make these two as the bottom i can make these two uh, and make a bottom line I can make these two and make a bottom line so from these three how uh, let us see how can how many uh, ways i can make a bottom line that means selecting three c2 two points from three points which will give us three into two by two which is nothing but three right so from two i can just take only one pair right so what is my intuition is with this pair i can make with this just one pair i can make this pair right this one or i can make this one or else right uh, i had make i had make one and then two and then three right let me wait, wait a second right so i am i'm making the first pair as this one now the second pair is this one that means second trapezoid now the third one will be this one so for every point every pair instead let me say that for every pair for every pair i got i got three pairs right so for every nc uh, sorry 3c2 into 2c2 are the number of uh, trapezoids that i can make with this now i will add that to 3c2 and 2c2 sorry it is not 3c2 sorry for the mistakes so i have four points and i am selecting two points from that into i got three points here right so 3c2 this is nothing but the upper line selecting from two points from four points and selecting two points from the three points here plus i will add that and from this i have to add these two points how many pairs or how many lines i can make with these two points so 4c2 into 2c2 right so now with this i had made this right i had made all those uh, trapezoids now from this i can also make this right so i am selecting this as my top line and selecting this as my bottom line plus plus 3c2 here 3c2 plus 2c2 so this will be our answer right but here if you see here if you see if i write 4c2 that's what i need 4c2 2c2 and 3c2 and then 5c2 right so let us see what are the values resultant values 4c2 is nothing but 4 into 3 by 2 which is nothing but 6 2c2 is nothing but 1 3c2 is nothing but 3 5c2 let us calculate 5 into 4 by 2 5 2s are 10 so these are the number of uh, lines or trapezoids upper line or just selecting two points from all the points now i'll push that into and array 6 1 3 10 what i did i am selecting this as my upper line and how many ways i can make a trapezoid and i am just multiplying it 
6 into 1 plus 6 into 3 plus 6 into 10 right now 1 into 3 selecting top line and then bottom line 1 into 3 selecting top line and then bottom line 1 into 10 plus 1 into 10 then 3 into 10 that's it right now if you see here here if i just make a sum all this the sum will be 20 now let me write it as let me write it as 6 into 1 plus 3 plus 10 here 1 into 3 plus 10 here 3 into 10 right now i didn't i didn't get a 6 here if you see if i just take it as 6 into 6 plus 1 plus 3 plus 10 right so i didn't get a 6 here okay now i only got 1 3 and 10 and then i removed one for this i removed one and then i removed 3 and got only 10 so let me name it as sum so this is the sum but sum was initially 20 right sum was initially 20 now what i'll do is for every element element in uh, let me name it as segments right so sum minus is equal to element right so here i got only 14 10 plus 3 plus 1 14 14 14 sum into element wait sir. sum into element will be added to total right so this will be repeated again and again total was zero firstly but we don't consider about that we are only considering about six right so first element was six okay first element was six and the sum was 20 sum was 20 right so 20 now sum minus is equal to element element is six so sum will be 14 total is equal to element into sum that's what i did here total is equal to element is six and sum is nothing but 14 that's what i got here now after that next element is one now one what i did sum minus is equal to element 13 that's what i got the sum here now total is equal to element into sum element is one into sum is 13 that's what i got here right now after that going to three the sum will be or uh, element will be the, uh, nothing but 3 will be subtracted from 13 which will give us 10 now sum is 10 and element is 3 3 into 10 that's what i got uh, i got here right and then next element is 10 10 minus 10 is giving me 0 sum is 0 total is equal to element into sum 10 into 0 will give us nothing but 0 so we are just adding it so this is the easiest way to get the get the pairs or segments right so just just if i write the algorithm start with uh, let us just start with initializing segments but if you see i need to count how many are there how many are there how many points are there at a coordinate y coordinate four where how many points are there at three how many points are there at two how many points are there at one so before initializing this segment let us go with unordered map unordered map int comma int now int comma int mp now i got points right for point in points points right so the x axis will be 1 comma 4 and 2 comma 4 something like that so we are only concerned about 4 so mp of point of 1 plus plus we just uh, got all those points now segments that's what we need for auto x comma y in mp unordered map what i'll push back is segments dot push back push back y we are just pushing back the count right count right but we are pushing this 4 instead what we have to push back 4 into 3 by 2 6 2 
wait a second 2 into 1 by 2 1 i need to push back 1 3 into 2 by 2 i need to push back 3 5 into 4 by 2 i need to push back 10 right so instead i'll push back y into y minus 1 by 2 right so y into y minus 1 by 2 now what is the sum sum plus is equal to y into y minus 1 by 2 y into y minus 1 by 2 this is the sum now what i said segments i'll go through these segments now sum minus is equal to element total is equal to element into sum that's what i'll write here for element in segments segments sum minus is equal to element and sum minus is equal to element total plus wait a second total plus is equal to sum into element now we need to return the total at the end but we have to make sure it doesn't go like uh, the answer may be greater than 29 percent so we'll be using a mod operation let us see how we can do this mod operation from the code right so this is something like a default which i i may i got the code right so sum is equal to sum minus segments of i total is equal to 1 ll segments of i into sum but if the sum minus segments of i is going negatively it is going lesser than zero so that's why i have added mod and also did a mod operation with mod right now total is equal to total plus 1 ll into segments of i into sum i am doing the mod operation for this right segments of i into sum i am doing a mod operation for this and again for the total and returning the total at the end so this is how you solve this problem and if you have any doubt please comment in the comment section and here also i am using k instead of just getting y into y minus 1 by 2 so these are the two times where i will get this uh, i will use this mod operation right so if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section and i have given the code link in the description thanks for watching this video